Hello, everybody. Um, so, today we are going to talk a bit about Agatha Christie, Miss Marple, and the rules of detective fiction. Um, so this might be kind of a lot to get into here. But, um, so I read The Body in the Library, and I've been hearing lots of good stuff about it, and I was not a huge fan of Murder in the Vicarage, um, the first Miss Marple book, and I guess this is the second Miss Marple book, um, but... I don't know. Like, I really didn't like Miss Marple in the first book. But in this book, it opens up very British. And I'm assuming there's a lot of humor in this, because I found it funny. So, if it was supposed to be funny, good job. If it was not supposed to be funny, um... Maybe I just don't get the upper crust of um, Britannia. But, um, so, the maid... What, upper crust? I, I, I don't mean just, like, north, babe. I meant, like, the upper crust. You know, the upper echelon. Like, the fancy people. So, the maid busts in the room and wakes up the missus of the house and says, Ma'am, ma'am, there's a body in the library. Huh? Oh, do you want to be in on this? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not making a video here or nothing. And now Mina's got to get in on it. So, she's like, a body in the library? How absurd. Did she really say that? Was I dreaming? Is there a body in the library? And then she, like, wakes up her husband, and she's like, Arthur, Arthur. And he's like, oh, 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 oh. And what is it? And she's like, Mary just came in here and said the strangest thing. Really? What, what did she say? She said that in the library, there's a body. A body? Yes. In the library? Y yes. Oh, oh you, you're, no, you're, uh, you must have been dreaming. I thought the same thing, but then thought about it again. And I'm sure I heard her say the words, There's a body in the library. A body in the library? Go downstairs and see if there's a body in the library. I can't do that. If I, 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 I'd look a fool. So she's like, oh no, just go down there and you could just walk in there. And if anyone says anything and, you know, and then if you're in the library, you could just see if there's a, a body in there. <laughs> so he goes downstairs and there's people crying, and the butler stops him. And he's like, what's the, what's the meaning of this? And the butler's like, so I can't let you buy a, There's been a situation, and he's like, what kind of... And he's like, there's a, there seems to be a, a, a body in the library. Uh, what? And then, like, everyone starts talking to one another and calling one another, and everyone is so shocked that they repeat themselves. And this whole gag goes on for like a long time. And then later in the book, <clears throat> it's like all the people in the town like calling each other or like running into each other. Oh, did you hear? There was a nude body in the library. Oh, did you hear? 
um, Arthur's mistress was found dead in the library. And, like, the story just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So that was kind of funny. Um, and that's been kind of an ongoing joke here um, since, obviously, since everyone, including including Mina, has been saying it. <sighs> um, so there's that. But in this book, Miss Marple didn't annoy me. Like, I thought she had her charm and um i just liked her and <clears throat> the woman whose house it was like she wants miss marple to come because she wants to find out who did it because it is kind of thrilling isn't it and like instead of it being like oh my god, there was a dead body found in your library. It's like, what are the people of the town going to think? This is exciting. This is better than tea and crumpets. Like, just the whole, like, idea. And I don't know if this is a class thing. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to go, oh yes, that is how the upper crust would view a murder in their house, you know, like, um, like as a form of wealthy entertainment or, um, freaking out that, um, all the people who you play bridge with are now suddenly going to want to not play bridge with you anymore. Um, or the fact that, holy crap, someone's dead. But I, I guess there's not a whole lot of mileage from a story standpoint uh, if everyone's just going, holy crap, someone's dead. But um, when Miss Marple was, like, checking the body. Yeah, the body in the library. Okay. <laughs> um, she was just, like, thinking to herself or whatever. <laughs> Unbelievable. You want to say hi? Is he impressed? He was. Oh, there he is. Look at this cute dog and his new cheeky bandana. And his penguin fur. Look at all his penguin fur. Okay. Um, Fred, I'm reviewing a book right now, bud. So... Yeah, no, I, I know. I'm just doing a book review right now, pup. Um, so anyway. Okay, see you later, bruh. Um, <clears throat> so this clock, uh, a cuckoo clock goes off. And like a bird comes out or something like that. Um, and this made Miss Marple think of something that we don't find out. What? Spoilers. What about spoiler alerts? Spoilers. Am I? Because I read it and I didn't know it was happening. This is my point. Like, All the clues... Nothing makes sense. Well, no, the clues Miss Marple collects only relate to her. Because they relate to memories she's had of other things. Because she's not a detective... Because she's good at detecting. She's a detective because she knows country folk. And knows things. Is it detecting? Is she? <clears throat> well... I was sitting here going, um, like, I know there are rules for detective fiction, um, that were set up during the golden age. And so I was looking it up and it's like, um, 
During the golden age of detect detective fiction, writers tried to set up rules for the genre to ensure fair play for the reader. Agatha Christie, as well as many other authors, broke the rules many times. Well, there goes my whole argument, because in the last few Christie books I've read, I'm like, she can't do that. She says she can't do that. But if it's like a known thing, like she kind of does what she wants, even though she said you shouldn't do this, or um, even uh, agreed that certain things shouldn't be done. Um, it's just... Uh, and, like, I almost don't want, if you guys haven't read the rules of detect, the rules of detective fiction, I would say don't even bother reading them. Because all it'll do is make you notice the things that they do that they say they aren't supposed to be doing. So, anyway, this story, The Body in the Library, had this second murder that takes place and the whole thing and how it relates is so freaking convoluted and it boggles my mind because people love this book and say like just like how good the mystery is and everything like that. And I'm like, not to give anything away, but I'm very Occam's razor about stuff. And like, I don't, I don't know what I can say without telling you the end of the book and I don't want to do that. So basically, um, I thought this was very convoluted. I thought Miss Marple was fun. I enjoyed her, which is the exact opposite of my reaction from the first book. Like the first book, I thought she was annoying and the book itself was fun. This one, I felt she was cool. Although as a reader, I don't appreciate her methods, but the actual crime was so freaking convoluted and just ridiculous that I, th I don't think anyone in their right mind would put this all together to commit a crime. Like, um, I don't know. But then again, I don't know, um how the upper crust of Britannia work, but apparently I do, because there's one laying over here. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I was very, like, um, I felt a little robbed, I'll say. I don't know why I put such high expectations on this book but i felt robbed so miss marple robbed me at knitting needle point and we'll just leave it at that so let me know down below what you thought of this let me know if you think uh, miss marple's ways are all right for the reader and ensure fair play um and i guess that's it and if there's a, a better miss marple book than the body in the library um let me know what it is and we'll talk later bye bye